<laughs> I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, we've it's been like all this planning and headaches and phone calls and emails and, and now here I am. I'm like, wow, it's actually happened now. Travis. You are smart and funny and kind. Your heart is pure with the greatest intentions. You always enlighten me on the world's latest events, give me lessons on the density of ice, and explain the chemistry and biology of why things are. It is clear that God knows by now that we're pretty opposite, but I think that's why we complement each other so well. You've given me so much hope for my future. I never thought I'd meet someone who'd be able to tame my free spirit, but the beauty of our relationship is that you never hold me back from doing the things I need or want to do. I'm still a free spirit, but with your help, I've been able to start planning routes and planning ahead instead of living every moment as it comes. The beauty of opposition is that I've been able to get you out of your shell and show you the world I love to explore. Whether it's traveling on a, on a dime, 2 a.m. road trip to Bill and Bob's or Sonic, or showing you it's okay to spoil yourself sometimes. I promise that for as long as we live, I will cherish our love story as we consistently build upon it. I will continue to love you in moments that bring us joy, happiness, and laughter, as well as times of grief, anger, frustration, and everything in between. I promise to always encourage you to strive for more, push beyond your limits, and to always do what is best for you. And lastly, I promise to always work on making our lives the best they can be every day for the rest of our lives. Leah, you are my love and my best friend. I stand here today ready to be your faithful, loving husband until death take me. Together, you and I will move mountains, and shape our world as we see fit. People will look at us and see what it is to be in love with your best friend. You give me courage when I'm scared, strength when I am weak, comfort when I am sad. You always manage to bring out my ugly laugh. Whenever we're together, we laugh loud and hard. Whether we're eating tacos or barf flavored jelly beans or sharing dank memes, <laughs> I will always be at your side to relive our memories and make new ones. From this moment forward, I pledge to live by the vows I make here today. I promise you will have the best of me in all my ability, healthy or sick, young or old. I promise to be the best father to any children we bring into the world or adopt into our family. I promise to live and learn in our love and to never allow any disagreements to separate us. I will always love you more today than I did yesterday, but never as much as tomorrow. I swear to hold these vows dear to my heart on this day until my last. I love you, Ad Astra Perespera. Across my sky I hope <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks. Holy shit. You're all mic'd up. Oh. I like that. Yeah. yeah, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you look stunning. Yeah. Wow. I get to marry you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, a quick shout out to our amazing parents, Denise and Larry, for the unconditional love they've shown us throughout our lives. They have raised a sarcastic, intelligent, cat cuddling, astronomy loving, colorblind man whose compassionate heart will serve him well throughout his marriage. 
Travis certainly knows a thing or two about dedication. Whether he's up all night conquering the next level of Elden Ring, or landing a top secret classified government job as a radio frequency tech, he always succeeds in whatever he puts his mind to. God of all grace has blessed us today. So let us thank him for this wonderful day. Food and drink, family and friends, all here to celebrate Travis and Leah, who marry today. In good times and bad times, sickness and health, may they know riches are not needed for wealth. Help them face problems they'll meet on the way. Oh, God bless Travis and Leah all of their days. Who gives this woman in marriage? I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I pledge my love to you. I pledge my love to you. By the power vested in me by the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Travis, you may Travis. kiss your beautiful bride. We know you'll be a supportive husband, protective partner, and a respectful companion. All the attributes you already have to thrive in your marriage. Leah, you look absolutely stunning tonight. From the moment we have heard that you actually watched the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy and loved it, we knew you were the Arwen to his Aragorn. You have the biggest heart, and we knew from the beginning you would have no problem fitting into our family. Thank you for making our brother so happy. We couldn't have picked a better partner for him if we tried. And we have no doubt you'll continue to build a life together filled with love and respect for one another. You really make an incredible team. I met Travis in first grade. We both were fascinated by computers way before nerd culture ruined everything. We hosted LAN parties and built PCs. We shared heavy metal breakdowns together. Our hometown could get a little boring, so we'd walk for miles in the dark just to prank our friends by ringing their doorbells and lighting firecrackers on their front lawns. I found shelter with him when my older brother died. We were just there for each other. I've learned that time has a way of contradicting itself. It changes us, but it changes nothing. It passes into legend, but legends are reborn. Giving our blessing to the people that are home to us is one of the most important things we can do as human beings. And that is why I'm here tonight, and that is why all of you are here tonight. Tonight is an important night for Travis and Leah, but it's a long-awaited celebration of what they understood for years. When I first met Leah, they were already well along in playing their future together, one step at a time. I've watched them work as a team, no matter what life threw at them while planning that future, but I know they've already arrived at where they want to go. I'd like for us to cheer them on as they make this new journey together. May they keep this night close to them in the years to come and always do good with the time that has been given to them. Thank you. I'm not going anywhere. Beside you, I'm not going anywhere. 